Mike Nance on. Just leave that there. Thanks. No, I'm supposed to be in the 80s next week. Yeah, I saw that. It's real nice. Hi. Hi. That's See, and he has the bar and shifters. We just got, that's, that's the thing. That thing's heavy. It's, yeah. Well, you got all the, they all the weight. They don't make them light. They make them durable. That's nice. And uh, well, he has three bottle cages on there. It's essentially it's dedicated. To bell. <laughs> that's cool. And a bell. Oh, I see why well, it's more convenient. More convenient. Mm. All right. There you go. You want to hey. go quickly ride it and let me know? Yeah, yeah. I forgot to bring. Oh the, yeah, uh, I'm gonna take that off. <laughs> I forgot to bring a clamp. One of these, Chris. So just keep an eye on that. I think it'll stay. Okay. I also said that for the derailleur might be going bad too. Oh, not they, a friend of mine said your derailleur might be shot. He just got your chain. <laughs> yep, I think should be all right for now. I think it's shifting real well. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, your brake pads look fairly Yeah, those are new good. pads. Those are relatively yeah. new. Yeah. Um, your quick release, you've got plenty of air in your tires. These are nice tires, too. Yeah. yeah that looks like it's proper where it should be. Not going up okay. anymore. So you got plenty of tension on there. It shouldn't be any more than that. And actually, this probably even a little too tight. You think so? Okay, you certainly wouldn't want any tighter than that. Is that pretty tight? That's pretty tight. Um, you got it. It. Uh, you know, your wheel's moving free enough. You got the little tabs on there, so yeah. That whole idea is so that the wheel doesn't drop off. If this should come loose, like if you should be riding someplace and getting caught, yeah, a branch or something, and it flips that open, that wheel's not going to fall off right away. That's what that's for. But it'll be wobbling like hell. <laughs> uh, it might wobble a little bit, but at least you can, mm -hmm. you won't end up crashing, and you right. can stop and tighten it up again. Yeah. So, and I've had that happen where I've been riding someplace and oh, I do have a pump. I've hit the branch. I guess I do have a pump on there. You do. Okay. Have you never used it? Once. One time? <laughs> I not needed it. Okay. Sounds like it works pretty good. All right. Uh, you may not get as much pressure as you'd like in there. Yeah. But it'd be enough to get you home. Yep.
Oh, but yes, it's this front cassette. The metal cog's getting more pretty worn. Okay, that's probably the one that you write in the most. Yes. Okay. Well, I put I I, I took off on that pretty hard and it hasn't skipped yet, okay. so you know, may just overtime well, it might. You might be all right. You may not you may not need uh, a new cassette on there. That doesn't look that old, actually. What's that? This cassette. It's brand new, too. This is oh, you got a new chain and a new cassette. Yeah. Oh man, you went the whole hog. Well, good. Yeah. Okay. So we're all set with that. So you should be. Drailer seems like now he's got the cable, and that should be shifting. Seems to shift real well. Okay. Now this the rim front rim now. This is what I was worried about. If you run your finger, you can feel feel how worn that is. That's what us. Yeah, it feels like it was was dragging on there. Yeah. So, well, the Pads thing is, is, like I said, this this gets thin, and it won't support the tire. You've got I don't know how much pressure you've got in there. But if it gets too thin, that metal, Very good. that metal can actually... I don't think I have more, more than... Uh, Ron, yeah. I don't have more than 70 in these tires. They're below, they're below 70. Okay. Or at 70. All right. Med yeah. Recommended pressure is 80, I think. The pad looks lined up. This pad doesn't look lined up too well. That one's kind of crooked. One look. This one's good. This one's kind of cockeyed. It's, yeah, it's not. It's not rubbing on the. Uh, no. The tire, which is what you really need. Right. So you're in good shape. Oh, back back pads look pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're in good shape. Better than everything else. Seats where it should be. Seats where it needs to be. Yep. As long as it's comfortable, that's the whole thing. Yeah. Um, as far as adjustments go. Um, if it's not shifting properly, the, ultimately it's because the cable is not adjusted right. Okay. Almost yeah. in every case, um, you, know, you pull that, the cable's too tight, it's going to pull over. If there's not enough tension on it, then this thing is going to go the opposite direction. Okay. Same with the rear Let's derailleur. Wait a second. So, uh, is that enough? Is that okay enough? It looks like we're right where it should be. Your, uh, yeah, we're going back okay. in. Okay, okay. How long will they be here? I think seven or so. Okay, as long as we can get in the front door. Oh, yeah. All, All right, right, Mark. Take care. Yeah, um, we were saying about the rear derailleur and how it might... Front rear derailleur, if, if it's not shifting properly, then it's because there's not enough tension on the cable or there's too much tension on the cable. Okay. Um, and you can tell when it's not operating right, you turn that crank? Yeah. If it's not lined up right, you'll start hearing it. You can hear it? Hear it? Yeah. Hear it clicking? Yeah. Well, that's because in that particular case, there was too much tension on the cable. I was pulling on the cable, and it was pulling this over and causing it to misalign the chain on oh. the cassette. Oh. So... Um, and to adjust that, two things that you can do. Uh, you can take up the slack on this cable when you, I forget how these work, I don't use this one. I think this is the one that goes, okay, this is the one that takes it in. Oops. Okay, turn the crank. Sure. Okay, that's good. Now right now I've got as much tension on that as I can put on it. That cable is as tight as it's going to get. It's at, the derailleur is pulled up as far as it'll go. It's on its on the biggest gear right there. Okay. Um, if I let it all out, turn the crank again. Yeah. When you first you do this, this is what Mark did. When you, you first put that cable on there, he put it down to the very smallest gear and took all the tension off the cable. That, that derailleur is out as far as it'll go. If there was no cable on there at all, that's where the derailleur would be. 
Okay. okay. And you check this cable and see just how much slack you've got. In. Oh yeah. You don't want any more than that. It's not tight, but it's not loose. If you start pulling on it, it starts to make the derailleur go. This right. It could actually be uh, maybe a little bit tighter. If you needed to tighten it up, you have barrel adjusters. Well, on this one here, hmm. uh, the adjuster's broken on this one, it looks like. What? Yep, there should be another piece on here. See this, like on, on, this on this side this here? Looks like on this end? You see how that is? Yeah. You should have a unit like that. I didn't even know that broke off. Shit. So, you know, there should be a little adjuster, and, it, and there's indices there. And nope. uh, you might have one back here, too. There's another one back here. See, this This is the cable that operates your shifter. Okay. If you want to increase the tension on it, you just adjust this little barrel here. Okay. And you can increase and decrease the now tension Now, which way is increased? This is increased or okay, just decreased? Okay, if you want to increase the tension, what you want to do is you want to tighten this cable. Well, if I wanted to tighten the cable, I could make this longer. Okay. Okay, if I made this tube longer, if I left the cable the same length, it would simply make the cable tighter. Okay. So that basically, that is what you're doing. When you want to tighten the cable, you want to make this housing longer. You're, you're forcing the cable to travel farther with the same length. Okay. All right? It's, it's, sometimes it's hard to get your head around it. Yeah. But in order to adjust it, if you want to make the cable tighter, then you turn this counterclockwise, and that makes cable tighter okay all right so it just takes up now when you make it tighter does it make it shift better or? well if you make it tighter it changes the way it aligns on these gears oh. each time you move this lever it causes this thing to move a certain distance mm -hmm. okay well if when it moves that distance it's not lined up with the gear then it's going to make noises it's not going to shift right mm -hmm. so what you do is change the tension on the cable so that this is in a, a different starting position. And then when you hit the lever, it moves over just the right distance in order to hit the next gear. Oh, okay. This has a eight speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight speed. Yeah. Okay. If you put a, say you put a, uh, a 10 speed cassette on there, mm -hmm. and you tried to use it, each time you shifted, it, it would not move it would move too far, actually. It would move. Mm. It would be too big of a jump. Mm -hmm. So instead of going one gear, it may go a gear and a half. And if that happened, then it wouldn't engage right. Or if you had a a nine-speed cassette and you put a uh, say a seven-speed derailleur on it, yeah. Each time you shifted, it would again. It would be going too far. Mm -hmm. and it wouldn't line up each time you hit that button because each derailleur each set of shifting these shifters yeah every time you hit the button it moves a certain distance and it has to be it has to be compatible with the cassette that you're using okay you can't use a seven speed cassette and a nine speed derailleur right okay so do you replace? To say I wanted to upgrade to a ten-speed, I would have to replace. You it. would have to replace the the derailleur, the cassette, and the shifter. Oh wow! Because this shifter is an eight-speed shifter. Right. Each time you click it, it will click, no more than eight times. And right. And it will it will bottom out. Okay. And so everything has to, it all works together. They all have to be compatible, or they're not going to work. Okay. Unless you have a the friction type shifters um, right I've seen the old bikes where the, the shifter was it was right up here on the handlebar stem yeah there was a lever on either side there were friction there were no indices on them you just pushed it until it changed and usually it would click it click, click, click and then you back it off a little bit right to get it to stop making noise and when you wanted to shift again you pushed it when it started making noise you just trimmed it a little bit just to take the noise out of it right so but by Adjusting the length of this cable, the tension on it, you can change the way it lines up on each one of these gears. Okay. If it's making noise, the odds are the cable is not adjusted right. Okay. It's either too tight or not 